What's going on? It's your boy. What can I change? AKA Lockjaw. Let's just roll right into the video. So, weight loss. Do I think it's toxic? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and get right to it. Um, here's my opinion on it. So, and not weight loss, but uh, weight loss transformation. That is, are they toxic? All the pictures and the posts you see. Listen, I'm gonna say. I wouldn't say they're toxic, but I would say this. I would say they can be damaging for sure because if you look at enough weight loss transformation videos, I mean videos, yeah, videos and pictures and everything on social media, yes, you can get motivated and maybe inspired. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but at the same time, I think it doesn't really tell the story. It doesn't say anything about how you got there. So we simply just see it. We see weight loss as more of a success than it should be. And we should be celebrating the story. Um, do I agree that everybody got there healthy? Obviously not. Do I agree everybody got there unhealthy? Obviously not. Um, in my opinion and just my experience of what I've seen most people, they do extreme things to get the initial part of the weight off, and then they start to change their life then. Because once you start seeing the weight loss come off the scale, yeah, you might get a little bit obsessed. And so you're going to have your ups, and you're going to have your downs. You're going to have times where you, you lose a lot of weight, and you have times where you put on a little bit more weight because you're going crazy. And you kind of go through that cycle till you get to the bottom, you know. And you finally do change those habits. So I think, yes, the habits come eventually, yes. Um... Sometimes it comes kind of unhealthy, but I think the start can be that way. Because here's why. Because we get caught up in how fast we have to do it. And because we do it, we try to do it as fast as possible. Um, people tend to, sorry, people tend to get caught up. And they think they have to get it off right now. I got to look my best body now. I'm trying to get ready for the summer. But the, the problem is with that. If you get caught up in trying to do it so fast, then obviously there's only going to be one way to get it off, you know. Now, I understand there's ways out there that you can do it. I understand about fasting, intermittent fasting, OMAD and all. I get all that, okay. But th even with that stuff, there has to come a healthy mindset. Because if you're if you're not fasting with the actual intent of fasting, like what it what it's meant to be, then you're just starving yourself. In that case, if your only goal is to lose weight, that's starving yourself. See, that's not the whole point of fasting. You know, that's supposed to be a lifestyle, but you're doing it simply to get the weight off. And because it's so heavily celebrated, right? Because it's so heavily celebrated, people don't see that kind of stuff. Hold on, let me fix something right quick. Alright, sorry about that. Because it's so heavily celebrated, people tend to think, oh, well, I gotta do it quickly. And I want that same praise and adoration. I think we just give too much love to it. Because we can just... Because nobody does that for other stuff. We get, I feel like there's more uh, praise for people losing weight than there is people actually doing anything else most of the time. Like if you're like, oh man, hey, I finally got uh, this painting that I've been trying to do for a few years. You know, I've been trying to get into the profession. I finally been able to do it. But what if you're fat, right? But if you finally reach your goals and dreams, but you're fat, right, <laughs> your story's not going to look as successful as if um, if you were not fat and then you did it, right? Let's say the whole time you were trying to reach your dreams and goals, and you reach your dream and goals, and you lost weight, people are going to be all over you, <laughs> right? You do it while you're fat. <laughs> you do it while you're fat. Nobody blinks a high. Everybody goes on about life. Do it after you've lost weight. And everybody just loses their minds. Right? Everybody just loses their minds. Because, oh my god, she, 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 he lost weight. Wow. Wow. How amazing. She lost weight and she reached her goals. And that's the problem. We feel like nobody's successful unless they have 
lost weight too. You know, we don't care about you reaching your dreams and goals. And some people, yes, they are happy for people who are fat and have done those things. And listen, listen to me. I'm not saying being fat and being obese is healthy. Don't get me wrong. But what I am saying is that, yes, if we only look at weight loss transformations in that way, that the only way you'd be successful is to lose weight. Any other way of success is, the, is a failure unless you drop the weight. Yeah, then there's a problem. And I have been guilty of this myself. I will not be a hypocrite. I have been the guy who have shown, who have said, yeah, you got to the top, but you're fat. You're going to die. It's over for you. You're about to have a heart attack and you're going to fall over and your parents, your kids will never have my mom. Right? And I've gotten caught up in that whole cycle. Not realizing that these are people. Fat people are people. And it, it doesn't sound right for me to every time they reach a success or if they're just trying to figure out I'm like where you're gonna die do you not care about your children do you not care about what you're doing you're selfish I forget that people struggle that fat is just the easiest one to go for because if it was smoking right you can kind of do that behind the scenes you can't really be fat behind the scenes but you could be smoking drinking you know and none of those things are great either but um, you could be smoking drinking doing drugs sex addict, porn addict, you know, all those stuff can be behind the scene, and you get left alone, so, but if you're fat, it's your addiction, or your struggles, or just where you're at in life right now, are all on display, you can't escape it, so no matter what you do, no matter how far you get, you will be judged, and that sucks, and so, I do think weight loss transformations can be damaging because nobody knows your story of how you got there. All we see is this and that and nobody even cares about your story. They just care that you lost weight. And that's all that matters to them. And that's that's my issue. So, I don't think they're toxic, but I do I think they're damaging, yes. <sighs> Let me give you a scenario. Before I get there. I'm going to say something that might be a little bit crazy, but I'm here. I'm already on the mic. So, Alan, Michelle, John, Swole Normans, all the boys I did that interview with, and, and Michelle, sorry, um, and Miss uh, Damn Serenity, Alan's wife. Listen, I don't think Alan and them are bad people. Do I think they have gotten caught up a little bit. Yes. I think Michelle and John more so. From what I've seen and what I've watched. I think Michelle and John got a little bit better. I think John tries his best to see both sides. But he also gets caught up. Like we all do. I'm not, I'm not judging him. But Michelle. I think she does probably the best job. Um, but sometimes she can push it. Um, but she really only comes out as if somebody directly goes against it. She doesn't normally just come out and just say these things to people unless they start to promote obesity. In it. And that's when she comes out. All right. I don't think she goes out and picks and chooses people. Um, and interesting stuff about her and John. John is John has kind of moved away from the weight loss scene and tried to go live another life, which is tough because he's been built off obese to beast. Sorry about that. But he has gone off to now do CrossFit and podcasts and other stuff. I think he's kind of moved up the weight loss and more onto body issues and stuff like that. Body, Im body image issues. And he does do weight loss stories on there too. But I think he tries to dive deeper than just the weight loss. And I like that. Michelle has, tr is, she didn't even start off as the whole obesity, let's fight obesity thing. Because I started watching Michelle when she started out. She did a lot of story times. And she talked about Instagram models and stuff like that. And she did a lot of story times. I started watching her because of story times. Because they were funny. Um, and as you know. She talked about her dad and that kind of stuff. So she's got a deep path and a deep story. Um, so yeah, it was great. And, and she's still great. Uh, and I feel like she kind of got sucked in too. That, that people only think that Michelle only cares about that. When Michelle has a lot of opinions on a lot of different things. Um, and she does, a, she watches a lot of different things, and I think she's moving towards that too. It's just hard to continue on talking about this weight loss stuff. So, 
So I know people think that have lumped me in a little bit and think, and that's why I've lost subscribers probably and Instagram followers because they thought that me and Alan were the same person, and we're not. Um, I'm not him. He's not me. How Alan chooses to make his content, do I necessarily agree with all of it? No, I feel like he can come across a little bit better, a little less aggressive. But at the same time, everybody makes content how they make it. If you hate Alan, it is what it is. Um, if you hate me, it is what it is. Uh, but no, um, it's just old. It's all it's old for all of us, you know. I, I'm tired of talking about it. You know, I'd rather move on to bigger and better things and talk about what how weight loss and body images and all that affects us now. And so, I think we're all kind of getting there, except for Alan, I think he's still on it. But the rest of us, we're kind of off of it a little bit. Maybe Swole Nomers too. But, uh, we're kind of off of it. Trying to really deep dive into people's problems and all this. Even though we were kind of caught in the, oh, let's debate. Is an obesity okay? Even though most fat people aren't saying that. Because I've been interacting in my comments, I've realized that these people who I thought hated me or were against me, no matter what I said, I've started to realize that, yeah. So I'm looking at the mic and not the camera, because <laughs> I like talking into the mic. Um, yeah, we kind of look more into not trying to come to a common ground, and I've realized more that I have been that guy who have really put fat people down, not realizing that it's not. Yeah, there's some harsh truth tr to it, right? It, you can't say those kind of things, but it doesn't really make sense to keep going after fat people just to say you're gonna die. You're like I. Who wants to hear that every single day? Now, if you want to sit down, dive into it, and become part of their lives, that's one thing. And if somebody comes out and talks about obesity being okay, then we can say something. But understand that if you just come out and keep saying obesity will kill you, right, people who are fat are automatically going to get hurt. So I think we just need to deliver the message better than that. Um, but weight loss transformations are hurting us because there's no story, only the weight loss. And people see how people get treated. People, it seems like people get treated better when they've lost the weight. And I understand it's more physically attractive and blah, blah, blah. And people will treat you different. Um, but people who constantly put it up. Listen. Gracie's Journey. I had to unfollow her. I had to unfollow Gracie's Journey. Because all she does is post. Post. This weight loss pictures a lot. Whether it's just before she, right after she got pregnant, she lost the weight. <laughs> what she like before she got pregnant, or what she like while she was pregnant, what she like three weeks ago when she was, when she was coming down, what she like two weeks, or one week. It's just like God dang, Gracie. Like I get it, I understand. You can lose weight. That's awesome, amazing. I feel like she pushes it so much that it's just, I don't know, man. To me, it's just like wow. I mean, what? I got it. Is that all you care about? I mean, do you have nothing else going on in your life? I understand. I get it. You got a kid. And blessings to you. But I felt like she was pushing it too much. And that's the same thing that used to happen with, like, Morgan losing. It's the same thing that happened with Big Body Chick. Y'all probably don't know who that is. But I follow her. I did follow her. I have unfollowed anybody who continues to put up weight loss pictures because it's just like, man, I feel like you don't have anything really, anything else to say. Like, all your videos are about that. All your Instagram posts are about that. You make it seem like weight loss is the only thing that matters in life. And I get you want to, some people you're trying to encourage and some people you're helping. I get all that. But to me, it's just, it starts to hurt. It starts to hurt people out the world. Based off what I've, t the people I've talked to and the people I've had conversations with. It's just not helpful. So, weight loss transformation, if that's all you're going to do, I don't think you're helping the people. You're hurting the people. That's just, hey, listen, that's my opinion. <sighs> I believe the only way we can have actually fight weight loss, and I, I think people aren't stupid. I think I really do think people realize that being morbidly obese or being obese is bad. I don't think people are that stupid. And I don't mean, like, stupid, like, I'm making fun of them. Like, I, I don't think they lack knowledge. I guess I should say ignorant. I don't think people are that ignorant. I, I give people should get more credit than that. I just think that people, um, we think that we think people are just ignorant. They don't realize that being that overweight is not healthy. Like I knew it all this time growing up. The problem is, is nobody tries to teach you anything. They just tell you it's going to kill you. And nobody tries to really help you. The videos aren't helping. The weight loss pictures aren't helping. If you're not really getting out here in these streets and really talking to these people and making these conversations happen, 
then you really should just, you know, get off that soapbox. You know, if you're not really about it, you're not really willing to get in those trenches to get in the mud with these people and learn their lives and just forget about the weight loss for a second. Let's just work on their lives. Try to get to know them because let's say three months go by and they haven't lost a pound. But what if their life is getting better and they're starting to realize maybe they have a struggle with food or maybe they're starting to realize they cope with food with doing this. Or maybe they're starting to realize, hey, I got problems over here too and that. Okay, then then you're starting to really make a change. You don't, hey listen, I'm going to get into the mic so you can understand. You don't have to lose weight in 30 days. You hear me? You don't have to lose weight in 30 days. It is a life style. It is a life <clears throat> change. You're not, losing weight isn't what's changing your life. It's everything else that comes around it. Now, if the weight loss comes off, if the weight comes off, that's perfect for you, you know. That's great. That's amazing. I wouldn't say, sorry, I didn't mean to say it's perfect for you. It's just a cherry on top of the cake. It's not the cake. Okay? It's not the cake. Okay? Or whatever you want it to be on top of, you know. But it's, it's not it's not the whole thing. It's just a slice. Okay? <clears throat> slice of the pie. Not the whole pie. So... Make the change. Don't allow weight loss to rule your life. There's so many other things you can do. You're, you're, you're great. You have greatness in you. And there's so much more you can do. Don't let the weight loss stop you. And don't let the weight loss be your only part of your life. Quit with the weight loss pictures. No, they're not toxic. But they can be damaging. If you're not willing to at least tell your story. Or you're not out here engaging with people. And trying to figure people out. I think you should quit it. In fact, I'd be perfectly fine if weight loss pictures stopped altogether. Now, if you want to show a picture of you before and after and be like, hey, man, this is before me and I was out of the dumps and everything. And uh, I was living this life and here's me now. You know, and I've been able to live my dreams and everything. That's fine. And if you happen to have lost weight in those two pictures, okay, cool. But if the only, only purpose of you putting the picture up is to show that you've lost weight, you missed the point. Okay. So quit damaging these young people out here and quit telling these fat people they're going to die. They know that. <clears throat> they know that if they continue on the way they do, yes, their life can end, right? It's understood. I understand we want to push it in their face. <clears throat> but understand we got to do better than that. If we're not willing to dig into their lives and become a part of it, you know, allow somebody else to do that. You know, allow somebody else to take that role. I think people just get conditioned. <laughs> I'm about to be done, guys. I think people just get conditioned to talk like that. And <clears throat> think that it's okay to eventually hate their body or be like, you're right, I'm going to die. I gotta stop. I gotta change. Okay, you're right. But if, don't just do the weight loss part. Alright? Do more. Do better. <clears throat> weight loss is in it all everything don't get scared of just dying don't just get scared of dying because you're overweight Okay, change your whole life if you want to go that route change your whole life slowly and it may take years that's okay but that's really where route you want to go just change your habits and everything and it starts from the inside Okay, <laughs> slowly change those habits and then the weight will come off at some point, and it'll be great. But then you'll realize weight was never really the problem. <laughs> you had so many more problems going on. Weight here, weight wasn't really the problem. A lot of other things were the problem. Okay, and when you change your life, your out of body changes too. Well, whatever that may be, whether that be weight loss, because not everybody who's fat, <clears throat> not everybody who's See, people who aren't fat have problems that fat people do, too. We all have the same problems. We, I just happen to be fat. You happen to not be fat. So if you're not fat, don't think that your life is great because you're not fat. Okay? You, you could probably have way more problems than somebody who is fat. Okay? They just happen to be fat. <clears throat> Weight wasn't the problem. Alright? Alright, guys. I hope I made sense of all this. I hope I made sense. Weight loss isn't the problem. Weight loss is not toxic. Or weight loss transformation is not toxic. But it's damaging for sure. For sure, for sure. 
very damaging especially when nobody's really trying to help anybody they're just telling people they're gonna die and weight loss is the best thing you can do with your life and that's not true let me know your comments below um, if you want me to explain anything a little bit better let me know <clears throat> and I'll try to get to that y'all have a beautiful one y'all have a great night I just, I just like doing that.